Hello, my name is Michelle Cruitt, and I'm an audiology assistant at Hearing Health Center in Oak Brook. Your hearing aids are an investment, an investment in better hearing, better health, and a better quality of life. By now, you already know how important your hearing is. The question becomes, how do we protect that investment? The average life of a hearing aid is around three years, and taking care of your hearing aids will help keep them in tip-top shape. But where to start? The first thing you'll need are antibacterial wipes. Take that wipe and wipe down the entire hearing aid from top to bottom. It doesn't matter what kind, as long as it doesn't have any bleach or harsh chemicals. Next, we wanna take a brush and gently go around the buttons, toggle switch, and the microphone ports. If you don't have a small brush, you could even use a soft bristle toothbrush. Dust, skin cells, and other debris can get trapped in these smaller areas and make it harder for the hearing aid to get the sound to your ear or just keep it from working properly. The next thing we can do is check the part that goes into your ear, whether it's a dome like this, a custom ear mold, or even a custom hearing aid. And what we wanna do is check and see if there is any wax that could be causing the hearing aids to sound quieter or maybe just not as clear. With domes, they have a small hole at the tip that can collect earwax. Take that same brush and gently see if you can get the earwax out. You can also take the dome off and run it under some warm water, squishing it all around to help get it clean as well. Some hearing aids have wax guards that can be changed. Wax guards help protect the receiver from wax that can cause damage. There are various wax guard systems for changing them, but they're all pretty similar. This particular hearing aid uses these sticks. When you take out one of these sticks, you'll notice a small white piece on the end and that the other end is empty. Take the empty end of the stick, put it into the tip of the hearing aid. This will take out the old wax guard. Turn the stick around and insert the new wax guard. Occasionally, domes and wax guards will need to be changed. If you see earwax or notice a change in the sound quality, try changing those to see if you, it notices a difference. You may think your hearing aids are no longer working or that your hearing has changed when all your hearing aids needed was a little TLC. The time between these changings will vary based on the individuality of each patient. If you need more wax guards and domes, your healthcare provider will be able to help you with that. Another way to protect your hearing aids is to think about how often your hearing aids come into contact with moisture. This could be living in an area where there is a lot of humidity, excess sweating, contact with water, or just a hearing aid that sits deeper inside your ear. These conditions or circumstances increase the risk of moisture damage. Dehumidifiers specifically made for hearing aids use heat to draw out moisture, prolonging the life of your hearing aids. Some dehumidifiers also utilize UV lights that have a sanitizing effect. One last way to protect your investment is making sure we always know where they are. We have a saying that if they're not in your ears, they're in the charger or the case. Helping protect your investment is a priority of ours. We want you to have all the tools necessary to facilitate better hearing, better health, and a better quality of life.